Hey guys, uh, we're on the railroad back. The work is pretty much completed, except for inserting ties underneath. I have to put a bunch up here on the one end. I have spare ties from Pico. And uh, we did the wiring, three feeders, test it all out and it works. One thing is if I have a switch not thrown to the siding, if I got it on the main, I come up to that switch, then it stops and shorts. I don't understand that because I have these all over with, um, might be because they're facing each other like that. It's supposed to feed power from the, from the point side. I'm doing that. I'm also feeding it in the middle. Those are insulated. So I don't know why it's doing that. But it's all right. Just got to remember, it's kind of a warning. Don't leave the switch on the main line if you're coming off the siding. So there's the first switch right there that comes off. It's all good. We even got the yellow marks on it. Ran through. It's really great. And there's the other end, the nice east end. That's the one that shorts if I get up there on it without having it thrown to the siding. And we got something else here. Uh, another reveal came today. I'll get you a level if I can. Yeah. Uh, I know they don't go together, but for right now, so I get, I'm going to run the uh, probably SD60E, I think it is, and GP60. Run those on this. The modernized coal train. Got a set of eight Cotto, the big conveyor type hoppers with removable coal loads that are on sale 10% off from model train stuff over the weekend. So, I eight cars, those are gonna, I'm going to get rid of my coal cars except for the CSX. So, I'll still have some old ones in the mix. Because I do use, use those for coke and everything. So we're going to sell off the rest of the train on eBay. The old Conrail hoppers and everything. The whole train that's weathered. Keep more modernized here. So there you go. Let's see if... Well, let's see. First thing we got to do... I'll show you a little up here. First thing we got to do is bring somebody up on the main line. Everything looks aligned. Yeah. Looks like I can fit about 11 cars, like coal cars, with two engines in the siding. Not going to hold as much as I hope. So, say 10 cars and two engines. Or go to one engine SC70 by itself and get 11 cars on it. Again, the UP doesn't have sound. The camo unit, just the KCS. Our eye on the good stuff. This is how it's going to help the main line. Got two trains running here. We can get one guy off on the side, especially the Amtrak. Get him back in the operations again. Put him on the siding. Like Union Pacific makes them wait all the time. Oh, we're getting tilted again. We need to uh, lube the ball just a little bit to make this thing more fluid. Just squeaking by. We got the markers down. Pick up speed. We're clearing.
Hope we don't get into any dirt over there. I didn't clean that far. Okay, so he's out of sight. Now I'll come back down to our boy here. Throw the switches. He's going to back out on the main line. And really not much room to go back here now because everything is shoved to the west side of the layout. You want the right one? Here we go. I like his horn. I ran the engine through without sound on. I don't have the clickety clack from any joints now, only the switches. So, much improved, smooth mainline. Really worked on it, trying to get it good. Kind of wish I got the CSX cars now. They're real silver with the nice yellow logos, yellow and blue outline. Let's get another set and mix and match them. These, these coal cars have weird couplers. Had to slide them and bang them together. It said drop them in from above and that's kind of weird. I have banged them together and they hooked up real easy then. Just going to make it over here in the yard. It's just enough room. Okay, we'll go ahead and shut down there. So there's the whole empty siding gonna help a lot there's what I had to do on wiring that was a problem because it's so far back against I'm barely clearing the wall back there by half inch I had to take the common wire from this side because I kept hitting the frame back there so I had to come on this side snake it under that wasn't hard or that wasn't easy I mean that was hard using my needle nose then bent it up around the corner and I soldered blind kind of I got a mirror now down here and then I got this one on that was okay then we had one more up there at the joint that red one is sticking up all the time we had to solder him had to find it had to take the mirror to find it so we used the mirror to get him soldered on so all the power is good everywhere no shorts I think we're in good shape and see the other guys over there Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we got a lot of ice here, and we're getting snow overnight. Real fun stuff. About 26 degrees now. Been 30 all day. Catch you later. Thanks for watching. Double Diamond Railroad out.